Do you have to feel sorry for him? He played super in this entire series, and yet a man responsible for throwing away two crucial passes. He did score 10 of the Lakers' 12 points in overtime Wednesday, but it's what happens last that really counts in this game. That's what they never forget. <laughs> so the Lakers have the first point with a minute and a half gone by in this first period. Maxwell, Worthy makes a steal. So James Worthy alertly makes the steal. It's the Laker quickness and speed against the muscle, aggressiveness, and maybe belligerence of the Celtics. Bird is on Randis. And it's three to nothing. Well, they cleared out, isolated, down against Bird, and Randis made it. Nearly a steal again as Worthy got his hands on the ball, and Dennis Johnson will inbound for the Celtics. The Celtics are 10-1 and one at home in the playoffs. The Lakers are 5-3 and three on the road in the second season. The team split the first two games here at Boston Garden. Maxwell has Rambis in good position low. Doesn't drop. And here come the Lakers. Cooper. No violation call. Magic Johnson given the outside shot by Bird. He misses. And Robert Parrish. Henderson from Dennis Johnson. He gave the Celtics a big lift in the second half with his outside shooting, Gerald Henderson has. But James Worthy, if they don't watch him, he'll do that all night. You better find him in a hurry because that's the guy Magic's looking for. They look inside, Kareem on a deflection and a foul. And the foul is against the Lakers. Here's the problem the Celtics have been having. They sometimes just cannot find James Worthy. He was up the court so quickly nobody could pick him up. They called the foul on Maxwell. And then they changed the call. And it'll be Boston ball. And we'll have a timeout. A 20-second timeout called for. A lot of picks on Michael Cooper to free Larry Bird the last ball game. Gerald Henderson in the lane. Kareem the rebound. Maxwell was called with a personal foul. Five to two. The Lakers lead. Under nine minutes to go in this first period. Worthy. What quickness inside by James Worthy, who had a playoff high of 30 points with incredible shooting in game number five. And the Lakers have opened up a five-point lead. And we have a whistle. And a Laker foul. It's on Michael Cooper. It is Cooper's first personal foul. Celtics are playing like uh, this is the wrong time of the season. They're playing like they've got snowshoes on. Dennis Johnson hits from outside. He got on track in a big way on Wednesday night. 22 points. He said once he hit the first three from outside, he knew he had his eye back. Worthy, turn around. He's been everything so far for the Lakers. Harris gets the rebound. Bird, Maxwell, and a Laker foul. Good pass by Larry Bird, who coming into the ball game, Tom, has a total of only 12 assists in four games, and that's unlike the best passing forward in the NBA. Well, they were using him a lot in the low post, and uh, they cut down at the, the cutters, the angles, the passing angles to the men he likes to pass to, so it's not surprising to me. But the fast break of the Celtics came up the sideline that time to get the ball quickly to Maxwell, so they're willing to run right now with the Lakers. Worthy committed the foul, the second team foul on the Lakers. The Celtics have three, and Cedric Maxwell brings the Celtics to within a point. Nearly a turnover. The Lakers turned one over after the foul by Maxwell. The Celtics have turned one over on a worthy steal early. And turnovers have done the Celtics Lakers in in their two defeats. Looking for Kareem. Cooper hitting the outside shot. Michael Cooper, who has lived up to his reputation, the smothering defensive stopper. Some timely outside shots Wednesday night. Nine to six Lakers. 7.42 to go first period. Henderson penetrating. Stripped away by Magic Johnson. 
Johnson has a big height advantage of some seven inches on Gerald Henderson. That was easy prey for him. Michael Cooper hits a three-pointer from outside. So the Lakers all-time three-point shooter. Michael Cooper hits one, and it's 12 to 6. Parrish, far away from the hoop, but hits it nonetheless. So all five Celtic starters are four out of five have scored. The one exception is Larry Bird. Kareem gets position inside and is pushed by Robert Parrish. Both of the centers fouled out. Kareem in regulation time and Parrish fouled out in overtime Wednesday night in game four. Parrish uh, has really been uh, maligned, I think, in this series. They're saying he's not really playing good defense against Jabbar, but he's afraid to play good defense, not to pick up those fouls. They don't have an adequate backup. They've got a rookie backup center. The crowd yelled they thought that ball was going off, but it dropped through. And how many people really hold Kareem Abdul-Jabbar down anyway? Not too many, I'll tell you. You've got to make them work. Everybody that's uh, ever seen him play thinks he has a stamina problem. Most people think you got to work him hard, and that's how you get him tired. He starts to miss. Six-point lead for the Lakers. Under seven minutes to go, first period. Gordy trying for the steal. Commits the foul, trying to get the pass, and so James Worthy becomes the second player with two personal fouls. Maxwell has two for Boston, and a timeout of call. It's a familiar reason why. Look at the shooting percentages for the series so far. They've outshot the Celtics 55 to 43 percent. That's been the big statistic. The offensive rebounds have favored the Celtics, but so far in this game, the same story shooting-wise. The Lakers are shooting 56 percent. And Boston three for eight. So the Lakers are actually 50 percent. And the Celtics are under 40. Here's Larry Bird. Henderson double team. They find Harris. Johnson over Worthy. And Dennis Johnson has hit his second shot from outside. What's the significance of that? Well, that'll be a big confidence builder for him. Worthy comes right back and banks it in. So James Worthy has seven points. Cooper five for the Lakers. Dennis Johnson with four, both from outside. Bird, great position for Larry Bird as he back Cooper inside. And when we come back the next time, talk about... Pat Riley's concern about what Bird has done to counteract Cooper's defense. Henderson got a hand on it. It's still Laker ball. 16 to 12 the score as the Celtics have run off four in a row. And now the first substitution in the game, Kevin McHale, who gets a big hand. He was the object of all the anger in Pat Riley. Kareem gets an inside move, and it's now 18 to 12. But what about Cooper and Bird? Well, Cooper, uh, they've been trying to take him in the low post most of the series. That's what's been causing most of the problem. As soon as they move him to the outside, Cooper comes out with him. And the Celtics have lost the ball. It'll be Lakers' ball. Go on. And the inside game opens up a little bit. And they haven't really done it yet, the Celtics. He's bigger than Cooper, not quicker. And Cooper has really played the passing lane well against Larry Bird. It is still Laker ball. Keep in mind that though Larry Bird has been the Lakers uh, Celtics leading scorer, he has not shot well at all in this series. 5.39 remaining, first period. Celtics have not had the lead at all. It's been all Lakers. They're up by six. Six on the shot clock. Sky hook. 